for integers a and b, the HCF is 1. What is HCF of a plus b and a minus b? Now, when is the HCF 1? I mean, there are infinite cases, but usually when there are two prime numbers, the HCF is 1. Right? For two prime numbers, the highest common factor is 1. So, let us assume uh, a and b and their HCF. Right? So, a and b are like 3 and 5. What is HCF? 1. So, satisfies our condition, right? HCF of A and B should be equal to 1. Then what will be A plus B and A minus B? Let us calculate. So, what will be A plus B? 3 plus 5, 8. A minus B? I mean, A minus B or A difference B, right? 2. 3 minus 5 is 2. And what is their HCF? Are you able to follow? If you take 3 and 5, if you take 3 and 5, the HCF is 1. For 3 and 5, the HCF is 1. When you take A plus B, 3 plus 5, 8. A difference B, 2. And for 8 and 2, the HCF is 2. So, if, if you now look at options, immediately option 1 gets eliminated because option 1 says for a plus b and a minus b, the HCF is always, this is HCF of a plus b and a minus b. Okay, this is HCF of a and b. HCF of a and b. So, clearly, the moment you get answer as option, uh, answer as 2, you know that option 1 gets eliminated because option 1 says that always the HCF is going to be 1, but it's not always 1, right? In the first case itself, we have got 2. You are able to follow. In the first case itself, we have got 2. All right? Highest common factor, the highest common factor between 8 and 2 is 2. Try, try something else. Let's let's take 3 and 7. 3 and 7. What happens? HCF for 3 and 7 is 1. And 3 plus 7 is 10. 3 different 7 is 4. And the highest common factor here is 2 again. So, we are getting 2. So, can you conclude that is always 2? Not immediately. I mean, this way again we can say that how many examples should we take. But try something different. Like, like in these two cases, if you see, we have considered both odd numbers. Try to do something with even numbers. See, one point that you need to understand is when the HCF of A and B is 1, either both A and B are odd or one is odd and the other is even. Both cannot be even. Remember, from this, you should understand that both A and B cannot be even numbers. Why can't they be even numbers? Because if you take two even numbers, the minimum highest common factor is 2. You take any two even numbers, like for example, 26 and 38 let's say highest common factor is 2 2 are even numbers right and 2 is a multiple of all the even numbers 2 2 is the factor of all the even numbers so obviously uh, highest common factor will be 2 so no point in taking uh, two even numbers because we want the highest common factor to be 1 yeah, right here is highest common factor for a and b is given as 1 so you cannot take two even numbers you can take two odd which you have verified you can take one even and one odd so let's take one even and one odd number like for example 2 and 7 let's try with 2 and 7 what is the highest common factor of 2 and 7 1 Yes or no? What is 2 plus 7? 9. 2 different 7? 5. And what is the highest common factor of 9 and 5? 1. Now you see, the moment you get answer as 1, you know that always 2 will also get eliminated. Because it's not always 2. The HCF is 2 in some cases, then we have got 1 here. So can we say either 1 or 2? Yes, either 1 or 2. Answer will be either 1 or 2. Option 3. Either 1 or 2. You're getting it. Quick verification. Take a few examples and you'll get to know. Right? I mean, if you go with the complete solution you should look at various points like a and b can be even or odd or one even one odd etc so one point that we have already checked is a and b both cannot be even right maximum one of these two can be even both can be odd so try to take different cases we have taken both odd we have taken one even one odd we have got this if you want you can take more examples can you take both even no both even is ruled out try to take something else like for example let's say 12 and 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 uh, 15, 12 and 15, 12 and 15, but 12 and 15 is not possible because highest common factor for A and B should be 1. So 12 and 15 cannot be taken. Highest common factor for 12 and 15 is 3. Can we take 12 and 13? Yes, we can take 12 and 13 or 12 and 17. Highest common factor is 1. Now go for A plus B and A minus B, 25 and 1. And what's the highest common factor of 25 and 1? It is 1. So clearly you'll either get 2 or you'll get 1. So your answer should be either 2 or 1 or either 1 or 2 which is option 3.